Welcome to Science for You. Today I am going to show you how to make an earthquake detector using just a safety pin and other commonly available household items. Isn't this interesting? Watch the entire video to find out. I will be coming up with new interesting projects every week, so please do subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss them. Thank you. Now let us go straight into the video. I have taken a toy house to make this project. The earthquake detector is made using a safety pin and very commonly available household items. Let us learn how to do that. First, I am fixing the safety pin which is the main component of the earthquake detector. The old refill is then fixed which serves as a support for hanging a dead mass, which is also required for the detector, as I will be showing later. Fix the Arduino board, 9 volt battery and a switch as shown in the video. Take out a copper wire from an insulated wire. Also, I took a ball from an old fidget spinner which serves as the dead mass for the earthquake sensor. Fix the ball onto the copper wire. I fixed it by soldering. You can also apply some glue to make this joint very strong. Now we have to hang the ball with the electrical wire, vertically and the wire should pass through the hole in the safety pin. The wire has to be wound on the refill that we have fixed earlier, so that the ball hangs down. This is the electrical contact that acts as a trigger during an earthquake, which you will watch later. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to one terminal of the switch. Connect the other terminal of the switch to the input voltage terminal of the Arduino board. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the ground pin of the Arduino board. Apply some glue and fix a jumper wire very close to the safety pin. Solder a jumper wire to the safety pin and connect it to plus 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Now solder the other end of the electrical wire to a jumper pin and connect to pin number 8 of the Arduino. I also added an alarm and light which gives alert in case an earthquake is detected. Solder the positive terminal of the LED bulb with an electrical wire. Now solder the positive terminal of the buzzer also with an electrical wire. Now connect both the negative terminals of the LED bulb and the buzzer and solder in electrical wire. Connect positive terminal from the buzzer to pin number 12 and connect positive terminal of the LED bulb to pin number 13 of the Arduino board. Connect the wire joining both the negative terminals to the ground pin of the Arduino board. We also need to connect a pull-down resistor between the pin number 8 to the ground. Without the pull-down resistor, the board may detect stray voltages as triggers and thus lead to false alarms.
Now we have to upload the code to Arduino using the IDE software. It is time to see the working of the earthquake detector. I am shaking the house to simulate an earthquake. The dead mass oscillates during an earthquake and touches the electrical contact in the safety pin. This sends a plus 5 volt trigger to the Arduino and causes the alarm and LED bulb to become on. The alarm will continue till the oscillation of the dead mass stops and the trigger is removed. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.